Annapurna. <laughs> this game has an audio save file. Hey everyone, welcome back to Stray. Uh, last we left off, we got the kitty into a small little town. And everyone was afraid of us because they thought we were a Zerk. <laughs> we had power for a good moment there. Until we showed them that we were really fluffy and nice. But, let's get on to it. We just want to, we just want to deal with the cat. I know, we don't want to deal with the human. We want the cat. <laughs> All right, we met Momo. Have we talked to Momo yet? Oh, no. Okay, we're looking for the notebooks. That's where we're at right now. Boing. The symbol on the wall matches the one in the notebook. <laughs> they look surprised. That seems like a lead. All righty. And there's a bucket to ride. Whee! Oh. That didn't last very long. <laughs> what was the point in that? Okay, how do I get there? Oh, wait. Yes! Yes! <laughs> that one's the pots. Okay, I see it. We gotta go this way. Knock him down. Create a little anarchy. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, I was stuck with you. I know that because your name pops up. Instead of introduction or meat, uh, yeah, it was meat. Okay, tippy tap, tippy taps. <laughs> and we go. This place is nice. So I kind of feel like from that, we might be like somewhere in China. Or maybe even India. I don't know. I may be completely off. I mean, there's like thousands and thousands of years in the future, I'm guessing. Yeah, supposedly. Long after humans have died. Hey, computer. Oh, here we go. Clementine's notebook. An outsider notebook. It's the same logo as the one Momo gave us. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Okay, wait, hold on. Everything is going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They are in a place called Midtown, and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. Of course. <laughs> I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes. I know this look. He will not come with us. Let's find the other notebooks. Okay. I wonder why Momo didn't want to go. Was he scared? Hmm. Anything else in here worthwhile to look at? Nope. Okay. Now how do we go about finding the others? Oh, here we go. Pretty sure it's that building. Can I get back up? There we go. Oh, nope. <laughs> it's only been a day and I already forgot how to use the, uh, the controller. <laughs> yes. I don't know what you guys are doing. Oh, you're the ones with the paint. Careful, I need to focus. I don't want to drop another bucket. <laughs> sure you do. What am I doing? What am I doing? Am I, am I just literally just watching them? Oh, meow. <laughs> I just noticed that. Okay, I guess I gotta wait until they close. Now. Oh no! <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> oh, they're big, man. <laughs> oh, 
they know they, they messed up. They messed up bad. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah. Oops. <laughs> I say as I jump off into the night. <laughs> okay. Alright, looks like I'll have to go this way. <laughs> Should I name the cat? I'm imagining he doesn't have a name other than, hey, look, it's a cat. What should, we, what should we name this cat? This little kitty. This mischievous little one. I don't... I want to say Loki, but I feel like it's, you know, overused. Oh well. You know, I may come up with something later. Or maybe not. Who knows? I'll probably forget. <laughs> My attention span isn't the best. Whee! Come on, get down. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes! And open sesame. Okay, before we continue, what else is here? Hey, some water! Get an H2O. <laughs> We're a small little kitten on an important mission. And we need that water. Okay, where are we going from here? Not that way, that's for sure. Wait, what? Did I seriously just leave? That's, that wasn't the plan. The plan was to look for the notebook. Not the movie, but the robot's notebook. <laughs> Never seen the notebook. Don't know what they're about. All I know is that Ryan Gosling and whatever her name is hated each other, <laughs> but apparently had amazing chemistry during during the making of the movie, or at least during the while they were being filmed. As soon as the ta cameras were turned off, instant hate. <laughs> that's that's all I know about the notebook. Aside from that notebook, where's the notebook we're looking for? Am I missing something? Am I just blind and stupid? Hmm. What's that? What kind of vial is that? Looks like a vape pen. But they don't need to vape. They're robots. <laughs> Unless they're like in Futurama. Oh, here it is. Nice work, another notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Z Zabaltazar. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breathe at an inconceivable rate, as if being locked in this city wasn't hard enough. Let's find the other notebooks. Yes, let's show. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, Bender. Like that one episode where Bender was uh, tweaking by <laughs> just getting zapped. <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of surprised they uh, survived that kind of zapping. They're robots, dude. Conduct electricity. At least Bender. He's. I forget exactly how much, you know, what type of metal he said he was. 80% something? I don't know. Because <laughs> he did sell his body at one point. And all he was was a head. <laughs> okay. I think the outsiders seem to live in the upper flats. We won't find anything in this narrow street. <laughs> oh, he's really, really mad. I'm cleaning the porch of my shop. Again! Stop playing over my shop, you clumsy rascal. <laughs> what kind of noise was that? Yes! Look at me! 
I'm leaving a mess. I'm leaving a trail. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, wait. It disappeared. Okay, here we go. Well, okay, I guess it doesn't stay there for long. That's fine. That's still pretty cool. And now we're in a laundromat. It's okay. We don't need to watch anything. We're a cat. We're all natural here. <laughs> Take super speed detergent. What? Okay. I'm not sure why we need detergents. Hmm. Guessing there's nothing else there. Zoe? Nope, don't need to speak to Zoe. Okay, what am I doing again? Notebooks. How many do I have? Three? Or two. One, two, three. And detergent. And an energy drink. <laughs> That's... Can I jump on it? No oh, way, I can't jump. <laughs> Who's there? Who goes there? Alright, I was already I was here before. Oh, yeah, this guy. Hello again. What do you want? A music sheet, multiple pieces of art of a very renowned artist. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. I got one. Nice. How about the electric cable? This set of electric cable, the best of, of the market. I'm gonna change this for a super spear. Hey, look, we actually just got that. <laughs> I wonder what he's gonna do with it. Maybe I'll clean his poncho. What do I need for this? This is an ancient relic, a testament to the talent of our ancestors. It'll cost you three energy drink cans. I can't do less. Okay, well, I only had the one. I guess I gotta find more. Yes, uh, one energy drink, please. Good, sir. Kind, sir. <laughs> Moink. Alright, any more? No. You ain't got any either. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. I should probably stop fooling around. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Alright, guitar man. Maurice. Yeah, I got one just for you. The way you compute tonight. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one. Hear me out. Alright, I'll take a nap in the meantime. I like that. Yeah. yeah Alright, he's just gonna keep playing it over and over. <laughs> Once is enough for me, thank you. Huh. What's up there? Okay, what am I doing again? Oh, yeah. One, two, three. And where would I find the fourth? <laughs> Quite you. Okay, so it's just a sign saying I need music sheet, which we just gave Maurice. I don't know where I'm going. 
I'm a lost little kitty in town. Oh, haven't met you. So today is yesterday. Tomorrow, tomorrow will be yesterday today, right? That was weird. We don't age like our soft one ancestors. We are trapped here forever. Yeah, no, that's gotta suck. Wait. Are you watching TV? But you're a TV head watching another TV head. Except without a body. Y'all weird. <laughs> Ooh, vending machine. And also, I'm looking for someone capable of monitoring the southern entrance to the safe zone. The remuner uh, remuneration is two pints of Sayubas? Sayuba oil per day? Please contact the guardian. Alrighty. As y'all can tell, I don't know how to English. <laughs> That's a, that was a difficult word for me to say, to pronounce. Got one. I can just jump down. Okay, I'm going in circles again. Alright, let's go up. Let's see what we can find. Nothing. I have a feeling that all the notebooks we're going to find are going to be high up. Boing. Boing. There we go. That's a good kitty. This one? No, that is not an O face. <laughs> okay, so we went to that one. We already went to that one. And that one. So where's the fourth? Oh! I see it. <gasps> and I see a vending machine. Yes! Let's get it. Get that vending machine. Boing. Come on. Yes, sir. I need my fix. <laughs> yes! Give it! Give it! It's mine! <laughs> How many is that? Two? Oh, wrong thing. One, two. Oh, three! Wow, we found three already? The odds of that. Okay. Oh, come on. I hit the I hit the button. Jump! Oh! Are we gonna watch TV? What's on the news today? Nothing interesting. It seems boring. Oh. Gotta clear this area out. You know. No pots. <laughs> this is a pot free zone. Don't make me call it. <laughs> I was trying to say, don't make me call the cops. And instead, I decided to just babble. <laughs> Not a dead body. How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human. Volume 42. Huh. Interesting book you were reading there. You mean... <laughs> oh. Okay. As much as I enjoy that... Can't hurt my ears. Okay, this is a lot of books. What am I doing here? Hey Doc, I found the key to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books, just the librarian. <laughs> oh. I mean, not everyone is a book, big book reader, so why would they? Oh, scratch, scratch, scratch. Scratch, 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 scratch. Yes, let's leave a marker. 
Sorry if I, thought, if I sound aggressive. I just kind of, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like that will feel good on, you know, just, you know, like just rip something up apart. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not violent. <laughs> behind some books but I'm not seeing anything oh here they go may I offer you a beverage sir <laughs> oh, who am I kidding you're not sentient it's a golden kitty finally the last notebook this one seems to belong to someone named Doc. Of course. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be capable of warning off the Zerks on our, own, on our way out. The, the initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. Oh! There's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If we can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show him what we found. Can we show him this kitty that we found? Look at it! It's adorable! <laughs> and a canister. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Maybe it's one of those pressurized air cans, you know, to clean out the dust. Uh, yeah, he was this guy. Yeah, they're like really close by. Hey, have I spoken with you? Nope. Oh, hey, it's you. You do look weird and small, but there's something about you. <laughs> I feel compelled to pet you, but I won't because I don't understand why. Do it. Pet me. Give me a hug. Ah, oh, screw you. Now, before we continue, I believe I want to give the cans to uh, the merchant. But how do I get down from here? <laughs> Poncho people. <laughs> Grandma! Eh? <laughs> Hello again. What do you want now? Yeah, 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 I know. I know all about the ancient relic. And yes, I got you your kids. Here you go. Oh, it's our memory. <laughs> this is an early model of a companion. Back then, they didn't have any personality. They were just glorified autonomous cleaners. I think it's nice that they eventually mimic humans. It's like they missed them, and in a way, they kind of kept them from going extinct. They're good robots. Hmm. Alright, isn't that great? Kind of like ghosts in the shell, but you know they're not—they don't look like humans. They're just these, <laughs> like early model versions of robots. What it looks like. Hey man, I got more music for you. Yeah, just the one. Oh, I don't know what it is called, but okay. Saves the series password. Oh. 
It's written follows the numbers, but it looks like a binary language, a succession of zeros and ones. I'm not sure this is true in one way or another. It's probably related to this safe. Whoa. Completely. I'm not that great at puzzles, so I don't even know how I'm gonna solve this. This is all their own. Humans often said that making art is important in desperate situations. These are certainly desperate times. Huh. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's like in Detroit when uh, Marcus painted for the first time without, you know, copying. Like, legitimately created art. Chips? <laughs> Do you really consume this? The original design didn't have a digestive system. Maybe it somehow evolved by mimicking humans. Do you think I should try some of it? I do not want to be disrespectful of their ways. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. I don't think you'd be able to eat it or digest it. Hey, another one. Nice. <laughs> and a golden kitty. Alright, let's talk to this guy. <laughs> this is the newspaper from the people living above on level 2. It's a few years old, but it's something to read. Huh. So basically, we're just the slums. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Let me get one in. Okay. Let's get another one in. Is that even a proper... That's not even a proper <laughs> billiards ball. That's just a cat toy. Oh, I can smack it. No. Oh, really? Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. I, I can't control the ball. I don't know where it's going to go. Kitty chooses either the left or the right paw. Yes, sir. I will have one tall glass of milk. <laughs> hey, 
Oh, is that? 1, 2, 83? Ow. Or is it this one? Zero. Nope, that's not it. Okay, I already forgot the number. 1, 2, 83. I hope that's it. Catapult. <laughs> One, two, eighty-three. One, two, eighty-three. One, two, eighty-three. Sorry, I gotta repeat it, otherwise I'm gonna forget. Memory's not the best. One, oh, one, two, eighty-three. Yes! <laughs> Alright, well. How many have we given you? Yes, I found more. Two more, to be exact. Yeah, not my cup of tea. Alright, can you like stop playing so I can hand you the other one? I don't know how long it's going to be, so <laughs> let's just move on for now. You know, let's go to Momo in the meantime. I'm kind of surprised I can be on from all the way out here. Yeah, right? <laughs> you said it, kitty. No. Okay. Wait, where am I going again? This way. I'm up and away. Hey, Momo. Look what I got you. Hey, little cat. Are you still looking for those useless notebooks? Oh. Yep. Here, let me show you. That's my notebook. I was able to last to join the outsiders. And I'm also the last remaining one. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Um. Oh, you found Clementine's notes. She was really brave, you know. The most fearless person I have ever met. That's the Balthazar's notebook, right? I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time. But he was very wise. Oh. Oh, it's Long Dog? He was really a huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He was always on the verge of a great discovery. Wait, you actually found all my friends' notebooks? You damn right we did. Oh, what's that note? The transfer can be repaired? This is incredible. That means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. Clementine, the Baltazar, Doc. I'm sorry, Dad, our cause. I'll promise you, I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. We might be able to find you a way up. Now let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. And voila, it works. Come with me. Up there, see that building high above the others? No. If we install the transceiver at the very top of the tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there's a way out, they'll know it. You're the only one small, small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us this, bring us to the sky. Ugh. Sorry about that, y'all. Goodbye. <laughs> Don't look at us. It wasn't. It wasn't us. Wee. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Where did it go from here? 
Up. Rooftops. Ah, oh boy. I see there's gonna be another chase the cat and try to get away. You can't have this kid. Look at these legs, boys. Look at look at it. <laughs> Such a room. Nasty. 
That scaffold over there is my way out. Ugh. Oh crap noodles. Oh crap noodles. Oh crap noodles. for waste management. The trash from the upper levels overloaded the slums. They tried to develop a bacteria to dissolve it all. And I'm guessing the Zergs are those bacteria. After the humans disappeared, that bacteria mutated, growing, eating away more than trash. And now we have Zergs. Yep. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. That beams our way out, and we need that can. Just gotta go this way. Hey, there's a feeling new here. Come on. <laughs> I tricked you once again. <laughs> The guy left behind, waiting to pounce on me. Okay. Alright, look at us. We're getting through just fine. So far. Oh man, not again. Well, it's good to know they fall right off. Where am I going? see where it is gonna be going I'm gonna go down there I'm gonna activate that elevator and then as the elevator comes down they're gonna hear the noise and gonna come out jumping at me <sighs> all right let's get this over with once I find the button or lever or something here we go and here they come. Those weird little termite things. Oh, come on. And I gotta run. So that gets down here. No, no. Off, off. Get off me. <laughs> run, kitty, run. I don't want to eat this, it's a cute fluffy little thing. Yes! <laughs> you guys can jump high, but not that high. Bing. 
tough though. <laughs> That wasn't so bad. Aside from the weird squishy ground. Ugh. Ugh. That makes my that makes me shiver. So that's lining up slowly. What is it charging up? It's coming up air wave. Wow, just turning on the lights. What? I was expecting that beam to pop out after all that. You guys were like building suspense. <laughs> Look, the view. It's beautiful from here. Uh, I remember now. The city. It was meant to be a shelter. This is a shelter? From what? Those look like stars, but they're only lights marking their hermetic roof ceiling off the city. Humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. Okay, that makes sense. So basically, we're like living in Matrix time, but this is an alternate version. Where the, the robots won. <laughs> but somehow we're not that as, as smart as the robots in the Matrix. I mean, we're smart. I'd imagine. But probably not that smart. Or even hearted. But if you come from there, it must mean that it's safe again. Yeah, it was pretty green, honestly. It wasn't barren. And our promise wasn't just to go to the outside. It was to open the city. I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on. Let's go back and find Momo. Now that we've connected a transmitter, we should be able to get help. Yes. But I'm gonna look around real quickly. What's around here? Nothing but Zerks, I'm sure. Alrighty. It's a long way down. <laughs> the hero has returned. I do, Momo. I deserve this. After everything I went through. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, that's better. Better than a squishing sound. Outsiders. Look, a note. Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I'll lock the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It is. Uh, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna remember that. Be careful, it is a case sensitive. See you at the bar, Momo. That must be the code for the window near the entrance. Let's go. Why do you need a keypad code? Just to open and close the window. That doesn't make any sense. Here's a lock for the window. The code was... Uh, I think it was an H, I think. Oops, Rocky. Oops, my bad. Okay, let's try that again. Mm. And then it was O? Or was it a zero? Let's see. Success! It worked! I'm almost at the bar waiting for us. Yes, thank you, B12. Not like we just didn't read that. Who put you up? You're not supposed to be up. You're supposed to stay down. Rude. <laughs> You're ruining my work, man. 
don't think there's anything over there. At least not for us. Wee! Oh look, Mama. Hey, Mama. <laughs> hey, little furball. Come here. I managed to get a signal. Nice. Oh, careful. <laughs> He's so excited. <laughs> I love it. Oh, thank you for the seat. We can repair. Let me see if I can get this thing working. What in the world? Is that like an eyeball with one and a mouth? I've almost got it. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Hello, yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums, We're looking for a way out. Yes. Wait, is that you, Isabel? Mamo? I, I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Isabel. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, we are safe. We found a way up. <laughs> Hello? Do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous. Berserks everywhere. Sewers? How? Hello? Darn it! We've lost the signal. I can't believe it. The bosses are alive. He and the others are outside have managed to go up through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slum slums. But if the bosses are made it, there must be a way. Get past the sewers. It's infested with zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you. Especially you, little one. Yeah, I'm small. <laughs> Not much to, uh, eat off the bones. We need to try their look in the past, but it doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you. Your business is none of my business. Uh, is he okay? <laughs> Seamus. His father, Dobb, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Chambers have never been the same since. <laughs> he looks dumbfounded. Tell him he's He's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. And no, well, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on. There might be clue in Chambers' apartment. Come on, follow me. Thank you, Grandma. Can I put it on there? This looks really warm. Perfect for a cold robot. Well, guess it's not for me. Okay, I think we went this way and then that way. Okay, this left, sure. Alright, give me one sec. <laughs> I'll be there in a Wait, who are you? Look at all the great stuff that falls into our trash. So many treasures. You should go visit the barter man. There's something for everyone over there. Yeah, I, I already met him. 
<laughs> hey, monkeys. Maurice? I don't know. I'm not gonna remember that name. Sounds fr I think it's French. Yeah, it sounds like it's French. Time to his chair and then beat the information out of him. <laughs> and then you're next. <laughs> he big man. We'll, <laughs> we'll come back when he calms down. Are you the, no, you're, you're not the fisherman, dude. Why can't I talk to you, though? Starting to sound like that. <laughs> As we said, the button. Well, that was to be expected. This situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. He won't help me, but you. I think I have an idea. You gonna show me another way to get through? Oh, yeah. Here, text talks notebook and show it to Seamus. It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electric shock. Find a secret lab for that later. I'm going to go back to the bar to try to reestablish communication with the with the others. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're gonna go to get a, a drink, but who am I to judge? Hey, Seamus. What are you doing here? I told you, getting through the sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be. What's this? Wait, is this my papa's? Oh wow, I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat? But where? Are we down here? What are those? Cigarette packs? Ah, I guess robots do fit. <laughs> There's 16 hours now? Wait, how how far into the future would that be? A very, very long time. I think more like a million years to the point we get, like, because they say that the Earth is slowing down. You know, the days become longer. Huh. Okay, there's not, no time to, uh, <laughs> to wonder about that. The hour hands are different, so that's probably that. So we got two, five, one, one. Two, five, one, one. We're in. Da -da -da. Welcome to your father's workshop, Seamus. I've never seen this room. I can't believe you managed to hide from me all this time. These movements, that must be for a Zerg weapon. Papa was always so secretive with his work. 
He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed a real life test. He went outside the slums and he never came back. I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> Robots News headline. Zerks are officially no longer under control. Under control. They now eat metal. That's good. of human time, eat all kinds of materials, total vision in, in the dark, react to intense light. Oh. So we just gotta make it nice and bright and they'll run away? Concept light based handgun, low priority, visual appearance, size, decibel emitted. High priority. Sure. Test in real condition. Objective 20 Zerg destroyed per second. Huh. Well, alrighty then. Looks like there is hope for them. I see another box. How do I get up to it? And down you go. And a broken trucker. Hey, I found something now. Hello. Talk to me. Don't you be ignoring me. Find anything interesting in here? Yes, we did it this time. Oh, come on. Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used that tracker to keep an eye on where I was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. That's kind of weird. <laughs> I guess all uh, all robots have GPS systems embedded into them, and I guess that's a good way to uh, track your kids. I can't believe my Papa might still be alive. I miss him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My Papa definitely took one with him. He just needs to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slums should be able to help. Come with me. I'll open the door for you. I mean, you don't have to. I can just go out the way I came through, you know? Through this hole. Wait. Seriously, Momo? You blocked my way in. That's, that's rude. You gotta fix that treasure. You were so sure. Maybe you can find someone in the slums to help. Alright. I think that's where I'm gonna leave for now, everyone. I'm getting, uh, <laughs> I'm getting hungry again. I did not learn my lesson from last time, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my gameplay. And I'll see you next time. Alright? Take care.